think sexuality is a binary or do you think it's on a continuum? I think it's on a continuum. Can you elaborate? Um, I think that unfortunately in the society that we're in, we've been sort of like forced to think of it as a binary because people are homophobic or people of power aka a lot of straight white men are homophobic even if they don't know it um but oh and so I think that because of that we're sort of like taught that you're either gay or you're straight and you know if you're gay that's you know not great and um but I really think in actuality it's a lot more nuanced than that how do you identify um for a while I identified as pansexual because I didn't really think that the gender or sexual orientation of the person really mattered to me but And I think I still do sort of agree with that. I don't think that, like, if I liked someone and they happened to be a different sexual orientation or a different gender than me or if they were the same or whatever, it would, like, if I really liked them, I think that would be the only thing that mattered. But I do think that I prefer more, like, people who are more similar to me. So like more feminine. Have you ever felt discriminated against because of your sexuality? Um, I don't know if discriminated would be the term I would use because I, you know, I'm very privileged that I am white and grew up in a middle class home and um, was privileged enough to get a really good education. And oftentimes, you know, not all the time, but a lot of times those things are usually surrounded with people who are more, I guess, like open-minded and educated. Um, but there were, there was a work, specific work instance when I used to work at my old job where a co-worker of mine like found out about my orientation and was like, um, you're too hot to be a lesbian. And like, I didn't, it wasn't that I felt discriminated against, but I just was like, first of all, it's such an inappropriate thing to say. You're my colleague. Um, and he was actually in a more senior position than I was. Um, but also, I just felt like after that comment, which was so unnecessary, like I had just been reduced to what I looked like and what my sexual orientation was to this annoying straight white man. How has your thinking changed? since your teenage years? Um, I think usually, well, I used to be a camp counselor for teenage kids, and I could tell, and I was, like, their counselor as I was sort of becoming an adult, as I was in my early 20s, and I realized that, you know, kids and teenagers are so stuck on things being like a very specific way you know I feel like kids and teens aren't usually very flexible it's like it's hard for them to think um of like how things could work out in a different way than the than the way that they have it in their head and I feel like I used to think that way too where like if I and I think other kids are like that too if they don't get their way or something doesn't work the way they want it to it's a disaster it's an it's a meltdown you know and this isn't every single person obviously but it's what I've observed and I think I was the same way too and now um this is not to say that all adults are like this but I think I've noticed that me and um a lot of my friends are you know find it easier to be more flexible and more um like able to adapt when things don't go the way that we expected them to go. What is your highest level of education? Um, I have a bachelor's degree. Great. Um, Would you say college is worth the time and investment? Um, Unfortunately, yes. I think it should be affordable. It should be free. Um, There should at least be, you know, public university available to everyone in this country um but i 
think that if you don't have a bachelor's degree or some form of college, um, it's significantly harder to make progress in, you know, adulthood and getting a job. And, you know, plenty of people can make it far without a college degree. It's just unfortunate that um, a lot of times it does come down to, you know, you'll, you're more likely to get a position, <coughs> excuse me, if you do have a, a college degree.